Brody, that's you with the corn rolls. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to get a good haircut in the Meverse. Uh, Brody, you definitely look like you set up licks and you're not gonna make it through the whole ghetto movie. Yeah, I look like the nigga that snitched them out in um, uh, Queen and Slim. <laughs> ah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Now Loading. Of course, the show where we play video games, have some chats while life continues to load up. Uh, of course, I got today with me Lou G, Brandon Brody, Young Deuce, and today we're just playing some good old Mario Kart. All right, Mario Kart, good conversation. Um, we in here just racing. It's just us, no computers, no nothing. It's just us in this. Yeah. So y'all can see us have a good old time and just chat, man. Fellas, how y'all doing? Man, living the dream as always, bro. It's go time, man. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. I'm yes, sir. I'm just hoping nobody from work find out I'm playing this during the middle of work. <laughs> That's all. Don't know. Didn't myself. nobody know that, Lou? I know. I just told him <laughs> myself. Are you right. on the job right now? Yeah. This is tech. This is like my lunch break right now. Oh, hilarious! Oh, I mean that makes sense. Well, they don't. I'm, I'm just saying that's, that's what I'm. You know, it's my yeah. life. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're not, you're not wrong. You, you, there's bananas and mushrooms in here, so you say I had bananas and mushrooms for lunch. You ain't lying. Mm -hmm. just, just tell them, man. I, 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 tell them I fell on a banana peel <laughs> <laughs> several times while I got back to work. Hilarious. But uh, we kicking at 150 cc's. We went ahead and just picked random. You know, well, I picked random. People voted. You can vote on this. I forgot. Oh, I'm about to say, wait, that's what I'm looking. I'm like, wait, do I get the pick? I'm like, oh, shit. You do. I forgot all about that. <laughs> I completely forgot you get to pick. All right, a little baby park. That's a good a little, little, little warm up. A little, little warm up. Yeah. <laughs> now, any of y'all like avid Mario Kart players? Cause I ain't yeah. played in a, in a bit. <laughs> I haven't yeah. played. Probably. I used to play a lot, but I haven't played in a couple months. Yeah, bro, Brody's about that life. I'm about that life. <laughs> Brody's definitely about that life. And I like to pick the Black Lives Matter Yoshi, you know, to keep it organic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you can drift up in this joint. Okay. Yeah. Oh dang, I I started off bad. I think I'm already in. <laughs> Because let me get some of these power ups, cuz. Damn. Damn. Somebody got hit. Yeah, I was trying to get Brody, but Lou had to take that L. Definitely took that L. Yeah, but I remember this one, I believe this one was on DoorDash. Uh, not, I said DoorDash. Door 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 what? what? Yeah. Oh. DoorDash. Yeah, it's a different game. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Yo, imagine though if they had that, but DoorDash, a Mario Kart, yeah, yo, or just like yo, like imagine you had DoorDash and like Mar people on Mario Karts came to deliver your stuff. <laughs> you know, it would become kind of like uh, how Crazy Taxi, how they you find yourself just kind of running errands for people and shit. Yep. Yeah. So like y'all know they doing a Twisted Metal movie with a a show with a Anthony Mackie. So imagine yes. if they did an actual like uh. Mario Kart show. That could be that could happen. Yeah, that could, yeah, that could happen. I, what would I, it what would it be though? Like what would the what would the conflict be? In what Mario Kart or Twisted Metal? In Mario Kart. Like what would be like the like if it was a show? You know what? They got it gotta be satire. It gotta be like a moment where like 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 the crew sitting around chilling, they talking cash, and then somebody like, well, let's let's hit the park then. Like, because, yeah. like, you can't really go heavy into the storyline with something like this. Well, I could see I mean, it almost. I could see it almost know. being a joke in the Mario movie. Like, you know, Mario, let's take the car. All right, fine. And he pulls out his old Mario Kart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> like, just a little Easter egg. Because they did that in, a, I'm trying to think. It, oh, in Paper Mario, uh, the new one on, on Switch. Yeah. Um, Lu there's a point where uh, Luigi pulls up in a whip, and it's a Mario Kart car. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Does he get? A, does he? Do, do we get a death stare? Because you gotta have him. Uh, you gotta have oh, a He does do a death stare. Yep. <laughs> that game is hilarious, dude. I gotta play yeah. this one. 
I don't know who wrote that game, but I kind of almost play that game for the writing. <laughs> so, so since you brought that up, though, bro, I got to know because everybody here has played at least a Mario game, man. What's your What's your favorite Mario game? Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna go Super Mario RPG. Man, I'm, I'm that was a classic. I'll go ahead, bro. My bad, me over. Yeah, awesome. Super Nintendo. That was a classic, man. It was my first introduction to like just RPGs, and if anyone's familiar, uh, Square was the. Um, the studio that produced that you know they also produce uh final fantasy so they yeah. so they really went to like some you know they they went real with it they wasn't some corny game it was like it was a solid rpg and if and if ne anyone's never played that game i highly recommend going back you can i think you can play it on the virtual console on switch now yeah. um definitely something you want to go back and just uncover i mean a, that that game is a true gem yo I gotta check. Yeah, I gotta finally check it out because, like he said, it is available on the Super Nintendo uh, Game Hub for Switch. Yep. Lou, what yeah. about you? Man, I had to say uh, Super Mario Brothers Three. Man. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Just the difference between that and the previous two games was just so it was so different, man. You, you know, you had the option to be the you know you had the little tail, the little raccoon tail, where you could fly and shit like that, man. And the yeah. world was so vastly different from what. They were on the on the original uh Mario and on part two, man. So like that will forever just remain my favorite, man. It was just so dope, man. It's timeless. And the interesting thing with that, uh they you know, they had Super Mario Brothers 2, which technically oh, wasn't even really supposed to be wasn't wasn't supposed to be Super Mario Brothers 2. They took another game called um something Doki Doki or something, and it was uh they basically uh modded it out to be Mario characters. So that's why that, that I didn't know. That yeah, I that's why it just felt so different. It was it was a real. Yeah. It wasn't technically it wasn't a a sequel to the original Super Mario Brothers. It was like a whole other game. They just well, that's why it was a play, right? Yeah, that's why it was just different. It was like, okay. it, yeah, because the original one it was like a play. You know, it had nothing to do with you know. That's why there was no like fireball like yeah. stuff like that. All the all the v villains were different, and that their 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 way of tethering it all together was that Mario was dreaming. Like that whole game uh, was, had uh, nothing to do with the Mario universe, you know? Yeah, because um, you play with like Luigi or something like that yeah. at first. It's like he's it green. You could choose your characters at the, at the top. You could choose Luigi, Toad, Peach, or Mario. Yeah. That's and, right. Um, and then, you know, that was the whole the whole uh, me uh, mechanics of lifting stuff out of the ground. You know, that was. Yeah, you were throwing turnips instead turnip, of like right, shells. Yeah. You were doing turnips. I was like, what the? What? What is this? And you carrying it. You was carrying it up instead yeah. of like holding it. Yeah. So it was a whole whole different different situation. But then by the time they released Super Mario Brothers 3, that was them getting back on track. And then I wish I was a little like older at that time because they released that thing at like I think it was like almost like the, the E3 at the time. They had a whole like um like that movie the wizard is literally kind of based on that they had a big reveal mm -hmm. and uh, whoever won this competition got to play super mario brothers 3 first in like la yep. and it was a it was a huge review oh was that that movie the wizard, the wizard yeah the the wizard. Savage. Savage. Man, I went that almost every weekend dog man no, that was, that was a good one i love that movie man i got that on dvd in the house right now word yep that's when I knew, because like when I watched that, that's when I knew I was like, yo, video games are going to be something. I don't know yeah. what, but video yeah. games are going to be something. That's what, like I said, we we just need a, uh, we just need somebody to, to, to take it serious, man. We need somebody to Kevin Feige, John Favreau, this, 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 this whole video game situation up, man. Damn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going, I'm going Nintendo 64 Mario, man. That changed mm. up. That revolutionized so much for Mario for me, man. Like, I I beat that game front to back. I played that game so much. I was I was so determined. I'm like, okay, I gotta get to the, I gotta get, I gotta get a hundred stars because I gotta get to the top of the uh, the castle. Like, yeah. it had so much stuff in it, though, that I was like, yo, I love this game so much. And then I was like, yo, I, you know, because at that time, uh, now you can play as Luigi, but you couldn't in the, in the original game. But it was right. always like rumored, like, oh. You know, you, you get up there, you can you can unlock something, and you can play the whole game as Luigi. It was just yeah. like the lore of that game, and then just like the Bowser fights, man, being able to swing him around by his tail, Oof. the aspect. Yeah. Like, yo, I love that game so much, bro. And and I like that it built those tension in those Bowser levels because you you yeah. know you that music, man, especially the final the final Bowser, the third mm -hmm. one, the third time you saw him, man. 
Yeah, when yeah, he was in the, uh, the the little the, uh, the the swoop thing. Yeah. Man, yeah. Oh. What about you, Will? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the original Mario Kart. Um, because I had a Nintendo. I did play the original uh a lot. But it was something about Mario Kart, like playing with like my older brother at his house on the Super Nintendo, like just seeing it was just so cool because like one, like there was a lot of characters that I saw on Mario that I had like really never seen before. And so I was like, yo, who are these people? Right. Mm -hmm. And so it was just so, I thought it was just so cool. So to, uh, be able to play racing, especially with my brother too. So it was just Man. like, that was even more fun. That's when you realize that Mario is like an icon because he was like, why why is he racing, but why is this game so lit? Yeah, yeah. we don't even care. <laughs> I will say a close second for me would be uh, Super Mario World, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. joint was amazing. That 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 is a pivotal point in my life as a kid. So up until that point, my parents, they still played video games, ah. right? And so up until, up until that point, like I said, they would do the, you know, okay, I play and then you play and then I play and you play. And so they yeah. were still good. But when they got when they got Super Mario World, they said that one day they played. And then when I got on, I just didn't get off. It was like, because, you know, you play till you die. And so yeah. they was like, yeah, that's when we realized we can't play video games with you no more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my man went through, got all 96 levels completed. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. Don't cut my game off. Don't cut right. Game there was off. one level, man, that used to give me so much grief because I tried not to use the um the the ham you know the the secret tips and tricks books, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But I had to buy that guide because there was one of those uh one of those levels I couldn't get to, and I remember it vividly. It was off the uh, cheese bridge level, and then a bean oh, salt yeah. comes underneath it and takes you to Soda Lake, man. That was the hardest one that I that I couldn't find on my own. What's another stage that stood out to all of y'all that y'all can remember from like any any of the Super Mario's? Hmm. In Nintendo, in the, the Mario sixty four, the uh, I forgot the name of the stage, but the one where you race the penguin down the uh, thing. <laughs> bro, yeah. that stage was just so <laughs> cool, cool yeah. mountain. I think. Yeah, I think it was cool, cool mountain. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, man. just to, just to be having that moment in him. Cause remember the the penguin used to talk cash shit to you. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was like the penguin from the Batman, the way he was talking. <laughs> so I got, I gotta know what y'all bringing that up. What happened when you had to make a decision about the little penguin? Oh, did you throw him off? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know I'm we threw him off. <laughs> you know we threw him off. Definitely threw him off. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, Lou, what about you? Can you remember any ones that stick out to you? Man, uh, only thing that that's coming up to my top of mind right now is from uh, Mario Kart uh, when it was on the Wii, well, when I had the Wii, and it was like uh, now I can't remember the name of the stage, but basically you was racing down a mountain, man, and I just remember playing that one all the time, and I used to win on it all the time, and I just thought the way that they built out the track, man, it was just so dope to me, man. And I, I think I, it was DK Mountain. That might be it. Ooh, I think, yeah. yeah, that yeah, that sounds yeah. right. And for yeah, for whatever whatever reason, man, I just had a, a strong liking uh, towards that particular uh, race, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, in our combo earlier, we we just, when we talk about the Smash Bros, we didn't even bring up Donkey Kong. I think he's going. Well, he is going to be in the Mario movie. They they have Seth Rogen playing him. Yeah. Oh, they um, do. Oh, yeah. So I could see that. I mean. I, I'm trying to figure out how they would fit him. I mean, I see that, you know, that makes sense for Smash Bros. Because they're going to set up the DK yeah, I, universe, I the Marios, of course, you know what I mean? Maybe even Wario and Waluigi. Um, but that DK, uh, you know, if they if they set it up like Mario, like if they set up the movie where it's the first person that or the thing that uh, Mario has to save ah. his girl from is DK. Like that's like if the movie starts like cold like that, like in the middle of some action. He's jumping yeah. up some weird oh, gotta be fire. barrels are coming at him, you know what I'm saying? And then he beats DK's ass. Then DK like kind of like joins his side, comes to his senses. So he's like, so when the, by the time Bowser comes into the picture, if Bowser is gonna be the main villain of the of the movie, then it's like, yo, there's an even bigger threat. Your girl got taken by another threat. 
You know? Yeah. <laughs> now, another thing, too, though, it could already be set in canon like that. So, like, Donkey Kong could actually kind of have beef with Mario already. Be like, yo, bro, like, like it could be from that Jumpman series. Like, he already, oh, yeah. just, like, they got tension between them, and now he got to have Donkey <laughs> Kong's help, and it's just like, man, you know what you did to me? They <laughs> rebrand because of you. Did yeah. they ever, did they ever, like, squash their beef? <laughs> I mean, they ain't got no choice. I mean, Mario rule everything. I think realistically, Donkey Kong had his own problems at home with K. Rule, so he was like, "Man, I need to go handle yeah. my own shit on my own island, bro. I, I ain't worried about you no more, fam." Bro, the whole alligator, I gotta take care Donkey of. Donkey Kong Country was another. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country was another one of those banger, black, banger, yes. banger. Yo, Slap. just the style of it. Just it was like, yo, just how it looked and everything. It was like, yo, yeah. what? At, what are we playing? <laughs> It felt like a step up. It's like kind of the first time you saw Super Mario 64. That's how I kind of felt uh, playing Donkey Kong Country because it just looks so it looks so quality, bro. Yeah. I felt the same way when I played uh, Mortal Kombat for the first time, you know, Ooh, just like yeah. Yeah, with them using the real people. Like that was yeah. that was new. You was like, "Wait, what?" Mhm. Mm like, "Yo, this is this a real person." Bro, but the, the right. fact that they didn't think like I, why did they not think that that game was going to do so well? Because like you got to think like after that they was like they had gave them like a really good like um like like they didn't give them rights for like to them to their to themselves but they were just like like you put all that in there and then like you had to abandon that like they had no choice because those people they wanted um they wanted their royalties off of that like yo you using my likeness fam like I need them royalties you talking most about rare two, mo yeah most of them yeah. too was just stuntmen though and stuff like that too yeah so but a Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat yeah. What's funny yeah. is, like, bro, like, the the original crew, they be like, they be touring conventions with each other, like, and yep. they be doing, they be doing, oh, um, uh, they be getting there, they be doing photo ops and stuff like that. Yo, do I don't know, I don't know. Do y'all remember when um, Mortal Kombat went on tour? Like, they had a, a Mortal Kombat tour. No, no I didn't know no, that. That's yeah, that. yeah. it was the, the original. It was the original cats. They were like, uh, not all the originals. Like it was just like an active thing. Like this guy would get booked to play Sub Zero, and they would put on a show in live action theater. Oh, that's oh, dope. Weird. I missed out on that, man. My mom's ain't really like me fucking with Mortal Kombat like that because of the dragon and shit. She thought it was like demonic, man. So I, she, uh -huh. she wouldn't have took me to nothing like that. At You're all. like, mom, you know how many buttons I had to press to get this dragon? <laughs> right. <laughs> Bro, I also feel like back in those days, I don't know, our memory must have been like way better because like we was able to rattle off uh fatalities like nothing. And I feel like uh, now yeah. I'm like, I don't be retaining none of them fatalities. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't even play shit. Mortal Kombat 11 now because I just I'm, I'm I'm so frustrated just trying to do a, a, a damn freeze or, or a get over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like we knew it was back back A. Eh? You know what I'm saying? Right. And now it ain't no more. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck going on? Now it's back forward. I don't know all different kind of stuff and it's like now you unlock these powers to do your finisher i'm like hey bro hey say say hey man i got my ass they really oh. lost me when they brought out uh mortal kombat 5 deadly alliance because that's when it became you could switch your fighting style in it and i was just like man y'all because mortal kombat 4 i was still with them you know yeah. they introduced mm -hmm. the weapons you know yeah. but it was still kind of like you know yeah it was kind of 3d ish but you were still yeah. able to like input the same stuff but that deadly alliance man it just it just strayed away too much from mortal kombat for me yeah, yeah there there was even something like stuff like that with mario like i i hadn't played uh paper mario or paper mario had threw me off and then like um even even mario and even sunshine but again too i come from like the old school so to go yeah. from 64 then to that i'm just like ah nah i'm good right wow bro they got a whole Man, house line. So my parents got a landline too. I was like, yeah. yeah. and it yeah. work? Yeah, I'm at my parents' house right now. I did a show in DC on, on Sunday, so I'm still here. Did the Mother's Day, all that, but here I am with a house phone. So you got me, guys. Man, all right, bro. I'm, I'm thinking about not thinking about. I am. Let me rephrase that. I'm going yeah. to the DC area. You know, especially okay. with gaming and all kind of stuff like that. Yes. So I need to know, man. It, food wise, where am I? Where top three spots I need to hit? And then Lou, I know you travel too, so if you got any suggestions as well in the yeah. DC area you go to, feel free to jump in. Uh, do you as well if you know? Well, there's certain places that are just staples, like you know, it's like almost like like going to like a 
you know, like a Pink's hot dog in L.A. You know, you just got to go, even though it's not amazing. And I would say that's Ben's Chili Bowl. You, you've heard yeah. about it. It's, it's it's just a historical place. Yeah. Food isn't crazy good, but it's good enough, you know. It's just yeah. a greasy spoon chili dog spot. Um, If you're trying to get some crab cakes, you want to go to this place called Jerry Seafood. Because, you know, Maryland, that's what we do. We do crab cakes. So you definitely want to, like, you want to get your, uh, you want to get the crab cakes from Jerry Seafood. Um, they make this thing called a crab bomb, and it's just lump meat. They don't bread it too much, so you get a fire, fire crab bomb. Um, and then, of course, the other thing is, I mean, just crabs in general, but you can get crabs on the wharf. We have a, a nice wharf in D.C. where you can, um, where you can get like fresh, fresh crabs, or they'll, or they'll, uh, they'll cook them right in front of you. You'll get some freshly cooked ones. So, okay. Oh man. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> What if I, what if it was outside of seafood if I had something like outside I heard of something like called mambo sauce is that what that's that yeah that's, so yeah, that's the carryouts you know you can find a good carryout uh you know you can go like you know where they have it's the Chinese food quote unquote carryouts but they have but they cater to black people so you'll get our 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 the plate you get is a uh, four wings and rice so we get four wings and rice you get the mumbo sauce which nobody knows exactly what's in it but you kind of have an idea but it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, amazing yeah, stuff. Love it. Yeah. Okay, okay, I know where. Okay, so I know where to go in there. Okay, Deuce, man, you from Milwaukee? Milwaukee. I don't see no reason to me going to Milwaukee except to come <laughs> see you. But um, give me two, three things, man. Milwaukee got to offer in them streets. Well, like, right, quiet is kept, fam. We got uh, the south side of Milwaukee got some really good, like mexican uh food like like i'm talking about you know you get some mexican street corn like we have like, our food truck we can we compete in food trucks and like i said we also like our midwest barbecue but our midwest barbecue is more it's more inspired by memphis style like i said we do brats and shit like that because you know we got a heavy german um a heavy german uh base here out here and stuff like that um, of course, mad, mad cheese options. You know, we the cheese state. <laughs> but yeah. everybody, but beer and brats, that's our thing, man. Like I said, you get you a good brew. If you a beer person, you this is where you need to be at. Okay. Yeah. Okay, beers, bratwurst. Yeah, beers that's and brats, you, man. That's what beers we Beers and brats. Yeah. Dang it, bro, they beat me by one point. Man. One point, bro. I got my ass whooped. I ain't used to this. Man. Oh, man. I, felt like, I felt like my cart was mad slow, dog. <laughs> man. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to swap them out. All right, we're going we to run one more. One yeah, more. I need uh, to try to redeem myself, dog. Right. Yeah, keep this going. Uh, 